go. I'm actually gonna sleep. Oh my god, they're all coming here. I know, I know. Oh my god, oh my god. Let's see. Can we get a double flip? Double kunai? Nice! Oh my god! Three! Let's go! Best ability in the game! <laughs>what's going on guys rounded tic tac here and it's 2020 happy new year guys this is the first video for the new year and i've got a ton more coming 2019 was a fantastic fantastic year for my youtube channel for twitch and everything else and it's all thanks to you guys so just seriously thanks so much here's to a few more years of making save the world content with a few extra videos thrown in between but today's video is on monka s monks the brand new ninja that we just got you can get her in the store for 2800 gold and she is a kunai boosting ninja right off the bat I know she's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, I understand that, but at least she's not as bad as Tank, because he sucked really, really badly. But before we get into exactly what she does, let's just take a look at her. I really appreciate the look. I know not a lot of people are going to, but I think she looks pretty cool. But that's just me, personal opinion there. I think the main thing to look here is her uh, hero ability damage modifier. What this does, if you guys don't know, is this is the number that gets multiplied where it says base damage of 10, base damage of 32 on all the abilities our heroes have. This is part of the process, the calculation to get the actual damage number. This isn't the only thing, but it's part of it. And 22.1 isn't as high as it can go. I think it's 24.2. Don't quote me on that. 22.1 is pretty damn good. And with that being said, her damage should be pretty damn good. But it's not. Although this perk isn't the best in the game, it's still good enough to where I had a lot of fun playing this build. I enjoyed the build for what it was. Kunai Storm is actually the issue and not really her perk. But let's take a look at exactly what it is. Her standard perk is Kunai Storm throws six banana peels that last for eight seconds and knock down and stun enemies for 2.3 seconds. You heard that right. She throws bananas on the ground. I... What? I, I don't know, but that's what she does. And the commander perk is monkeying around plus. Kunai Storm throws 15 banana peels that last for 8 seconds and knock down and stun enemies for 2.3 seconds, dealing 12% or 12 base damage. You're going to notice that even if she has a decently high scaling hero ability damage modifier, her base damage is terrible. Besides Razor, every kunai character we have, for some reason they think it's a fantastic ability, has a terrible scaling. 12 damage is bad, guys. Oh, it's so bad, but that's not really what you're using the ability for, at least her commander perk. The 15 bananas actually stun and knock back enemies as well, and this can do this to mini bosses, smashers, but not during charging, and every other little enemy in the game. Now, we've played this for around four hours today, and you're going to see in the footage, I don't really enjoy using her as a standard perk. So right off the bat, I'm going to tell you to avoid that. But her commander perk, although, like I said, not the best, but that's because Kunai is just not the best, isn't half bad. And to be honest with you, when I first loaded in my first mission with her, I thought it was going to be absolute tank tier. This party cute as hell. Let's go. Is it a girl? Is it a girl monkey? Yes, it's, yeah, it's, it's a girl it's monkey. A girl. Yep. It's, oh, it's a girl monkey. Best character ever. Yo, I already know what the. I already know what the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be Monka S. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's gonna be Monka S. I'll put a. I'll put a fucking frog somewhere. This is right now. Fucking sucked. <laughs> Nothing got Bro. stunned. That was fucking dog shit. Everything just <laughs> Everything just it's died. So you heard it there that originally this is the first time I ever used the ability. We loaded in and we just knew or we had an idea that we weren't gonna like it. The damage on it, we didn't even realize it did damage 
at that point is just terrible. There wasn't much going on for it. the encampment. Everything died too fast to even see the bananas work. So then we ran around and did some testing to see exactly what was going on. Okay. Hey, watch this damage. Go for it. Whoa. Yo, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Why does that look like it's actually good? Oh, we got a guy. Hold up. Kill the shielder. He didn't even get stunned. The smasher. What? Come on, kill the shielder. Kill the. Sh He's got a shielder. All right, shielder stuff. Going one. Oh, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking it terrible. Oh, look, it's done. Oh, they gotta walk on it. Oh, they have to walk on the banana. That's yeah, what it is. For like, not even a two seconds. It lied. <laughs> Hold on. Let him walk on my banana. <gasps> Let him walk fell. on my banana. <laughs> oh, this is OP. It's the best perk in the game. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Does it counter? Does it counter these fuckers? Hold on. Come on, please, please, please. Yes! Yes! Bro! Bro, best ability in the game! Let's go! Bro, that co- <laughs> Let's see what this- Let's see what this can actually do. Oh. Alright, alright. Come, come- Oh, shit! No! Isn't it, two and a, isn't it two and a half seconds? How long was that? Can it stop their charge? Can it stop their charge? That's what we need to find out. No, he ran right through those, right? Yeah, he did. The potential. Damn it, Fortnite. the fuck kunai sucks this shit is terrible dead serious it literally just like shoots super fast out of me yeah. like it comes right out of his hole and just or her hole <laughs> oh, 600k with the kunai this build this build right here Ooh. okay is bananas is oh, i love to monkey around <laughs> So I really would like to talk to you guys about some builds. Monkeying around is a decent ability as a commander perk. And again, the problem really lies within kunai flip and not the buff you get as a commander perk in itself. What I really want to say though is that standard perk is nigh useless. You really can't control where the kunai go and that's okay as a commander because the banana peels semicircle is so large you can block off entire bottleneck areas that husks have to go through. In fact, we were able to even chain stun a couple of smashers during our gameplay and that right there is some potential and you can make her work. However, as a standard perk, the banana peels, there's not enough of them and they're gapped way too far apart and you're basically just going to be wasting an ability so now that's out of the way let's take a look at the other parts of the build for the most part we're just bringing kunai buffs and that's what we were playing with you don't have to play it like this but this is what i chose to do totally rocking out because kunai can crit is a fantastic thing to bring here so you can do a bunch of damage kunai elation gives you just a little bit of extra aoe again with a four based energy damage scaling I don't know why that is. Uh, kunai Collection allows you to get off multiple Kunai flips if you kill enough enemies. And then we bring Crystal Daggers. The reason we're bringing Crystal Daggers is because Banana Peels plus Kunai Elation plus Kunai Collection is very, very good. Not even kind of good. Very good AoE clearing. However, where you start to lack is if a big guy shows up. A Blaster, a Smasher, something along those lines will really wreck your day. And that's why we have Crystal Daggers. 12 times 32 times the scaling at 22.1 ends up being a nice hefty chunk of damage that allows you to half hit or almost one shot smashers with a full party. The issue with this is that the perk doesn't always work. In fact, with Crystal Daggers as a commander, I one shot a 140 mini boss with a proper and specific vacuum tube kind of vacuumed setting. It was a lot of fun to do. Sub wafers and battle beat, you eat a wafer, you kunai flip. Simple as that. The extra damage 
damage off this and this combined and you can even get up to four kunai flips was the best we did in a row and that's a ton of damage really fast adds up to a ton of fun i'm done already. respawning them i'm pretty sure i'm done too max level right now he's 140. max level with a biscuit on this build so we can hit for it I mean, it's not towerable. I don't. I didn't crit either with a. Uh... Yeah, Razor does a lot of damage. No, no, he's not. She'll bring her close to the water. Oh, I had to shoot him. Yo, do it. Let him up. Let him up. It looks like it doesn't stun many bosses though, which sucks. Oh shit, wait, did it work? It Here fucking works on me. It works on many bosses. Oh. Don't worry, Coco Co Co 45. Meta confirmed. Stop yeah, monkeying that has around. The worst fucking gum. Gum? gum? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, three. <laughs> That's the wrong button. Alright, three, two. Eat a wafer, then banana peel. Ready? Three. You suck. Three, two, one. I also <laughs> That's shit. Womp womp womp. There you go guys, that's Monks, the brand new ninja we just got. Is she the best in the game? Absolutely not. But she's fun, she's a decent character, she did a lot better than I thought she would. With a certain build, you can do AoE damage, single target damage, and have a double jump, and just all around a fun build, kind of like a meme style build. Kunai Storm is iffy at best, you can't use it everywhere you want to, if there's a roof you're in trouble, but the perk does stun everything, it counters ride huskies, mini bosses, and smashers, which is kinda nice to see. At least we're getting some variety along with our gunplay, because everything else was nerfed. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you like videos like this, I do weapon breakdowns and trap tunnel guides all the time, it's 2020, think about subscribing. If you guys want to support the channel in any way, you can always use creator code OO, tic tac OO. And lastly, if you like streams, I stream five days a week over at twitch.tv slash rounded tic tac. We'd love to have you come stop by and say what's up to the family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Tic tac out.